All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all know about my reliable sources giving me good information. And today we're talking about Thor, Love and Thunder, and who Christian Bale is going to play as a villain. I have two great sources that have given me the spoilers. So if you don't like spoilers, you might want to turn from this video right now. And we're going to go into it. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to the channel. Be sure to turn on the notifications so when I drop videos, you get them. If you have spoilers or good stories, you want to send them to me, hit me on Instagram. And also, please follow the podcast. It was always rumored that Christian Bale might come into this storyline as Adam Warlock potentially. Well, we can go ahead and knock the Adam Warlock thing down just because it wouldn't fit into the narrative of where Thor Love and Thunder is going. And besides, Christian Bale is an older actor, and I'm sure Marvel is going to take such a character, such a strong character as Adam Warlock, give him a good story, and make him an adversary against a group. That's how powerful Adam Warlock is going to be. It was rumored that it might be Galactus. Again, you run into the same issue with Galactus being Christian Bale, because you need time to develop villains or beings that are that powerful. So I don't see them doing it within one story. My credible sources, my people are saying it is going to be Gore, the God Butcher. And it makes perfect sense if you know about his history in the comments. So let me break it down for you real quick. We already know that Natalie Ruin Thor Portman is going to be getting God powers. Okay, and the reason she's going to be getting God powers is simply because somewhere within that story, she's going to have a deathly illness. And Thor, who has already been through so much, he's lost everything. He's given up his kingdom because he's trying to find himself running around with the Guardians of the Galaxy. We know that in order to save Little Miss Portman, somehow or another, she's going to be granted with powers like a god. That just follows the comic storyline. How does that relate to Gore the God Butcher? Well, Gore the God Butcher became Gore the God Butcher because all the gods took everything away from him. They ruined his life, took his family, friends, his loved ones, took his penis for crying out loud. He's dead. And now he's on this conquest to destroy the gods, to harm the gods. And let me tell you guys a little bit about his abilities and what happens when he meets Thor. So first of all, if you're looking at him and he kind of has that symbiote look, there's a reason for that. Gore possesses the all-black Necrosword, which according to Galactus carved the first dawn from the Stone of Endless Nights. The blade was forged in Null, the prognotator of symbiotes, using the head of killed celestials. The blade allows its users to create wings, which allow the user to fly at extreme speeds, weapons, and shroud berserker constructs out of darkness. He can create sharp tendrils that can kill any god, including as guardians. The blade is later banished into the black hole, but an elder King Thor uses it to battle Galactus. Gore also created the God Bomb, an anti-divinity armament designed to kill every god who had ever would exist. And in terms of his strength and abilities, the alien symbi symbiote grants him superhuman strength, durability, endurance. He has virtual immortality, limited shape shifting and camouflage, symbiote autonomous defense capabilities, just like what Venom would have, replication of the symbiote. So ladies and gentlemen, you're talking about a being that has symbiote powers, that has a blade that can kill gods, and Thor is going to have to fight this dude using either Stormbreaker or he might use Mjolnir. Now what I see happening from this story, because we all are thinking that they're going to introduce Beta Ray Bill and we know the Enchantress is going to be in this story. I can easily see Thor getting his ass kicked to a pulp because this particular being, Gore the God Butcher, has these type of powers. And when Thor gets kicked to a pulp, they somehow introduce Beta Ray Bill to come to the rescue of Thor Beta Ray Bill is either going to get Stormbreaker or Mjolnir, and then they're going to resurrect Thor. Then they're going to resurrect and give Natalie Portman some powers. So we're going to see potentially her having a hammer as well. And then they're going to all come together to kick the shit out of the Enchantress and Gore the God Butcher. Y'all rocks with me. 
post your comments down below if you're interested in continuing this dialogue on how you think I feel about who Christian Bale is going to be playing. Post your comments if you're an old school comic head and you think that this is the storyline Tika Watiti is going to go down because it sounds perfect to me. Marvel has so many great characters in their repertoire. We could be getting great stories for an endless amount of time. And for those of you that follow the comments, you know that Gore the God Butcher first appeared in Thor, God and Thunder, issue number two, January 13, created by Jason Aaron. So leave me your comments and if you think this is a good theory and share my videos as I'm trying to grow my Marvel content the way it used to be. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe, go get yourself that life gain. Follow me on my Instagram, send me messages, send me stories, send me spoilers, and also listen to the podcast because this particular story will be up on the podcast. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you. <laughs>